paz de Cristo. Amen. 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 I'm very happy to be here tonight. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you'd be so kind to open your Bibles up to the book of 2 Kings. 2 Kings. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And verse chapter 5 and verse 11. If you have it, please say amen. 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 And it reads as this. 2 Kings chapter 5 and verse 11 says, But Naaman was wroth and went away and said, Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and recover the leper. Are not Abna and Farfur rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? Amen. So he turned and went away in rage. Why don't you, let us pray right there where you are. In Heavenly Father, mighty God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Lord. We thank you for all that you do, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Lord, right now, I just ask that you would just have your way, Lord God. I'm going to put myself aside, Jesus, right Hallelujah. now, Lord God. Thank that it be your word and not my word, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And be careful to give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise, Lord Jesus, that you open every ear and every heart, Lord God. That you would speak to us this evening, Lord God, for it is you, Lord God, that does the work. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name. As you sit down, why don't you turn to your neighbor and say, The process. The process. Hallelujah. Maybe see that. We see here, hallelujah, that Naaman was upset. He was upset because he was sick. He had a skin disease. And at that time, any any kind of skin disease was, was called lepers. They were called lepers. Amen. Amen. And the people of Israel used to believe that the lepers had their disease because of the sin in their life. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Sin is a sickness. Amen. Hallelujah. It says in, King, in 2 Kings chapter 5 and verse 1 it says, Now Naaman, captain of the host, king of Syria, the host of the king of Syria, was a great man, was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also mighty Man in valor, but he was a leper. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, we see here the reason why Naaman was upset is because he thought that 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 Elisha surely was going to come and greet him. Why? Because he was famous for who he was. He was a captain, important person, a mighty man of valor. God had given him great victories against the the enemy. Amen. So he says, I'm important. Come on. How many of you feel important tonight? How many of you feel all high and mighty? Hallelujah. That when you when you pray to God that He should hear your cry right now and right now, this very moment. Hallelujah. Some of us get that way. That's right. I've Amen. been that way sometimes, amen. When I wanted something, I say, Lord, look at what I'm doing. But it ain't about me. It's about God. Right. And about his timing. Come on. And sometimes there's going to be some things that we just have to wait upon the Lord. That's right. He's going to have us do some things that we might not want to do. Come on. Woo. Hallelujah. Says he was a great man. He was held in high esteem. Mm -hmm. So he figured, oh, because I'm so great that surely he should have came down the prophet of the Lord should have came down and greeted me at least said hi come on but he sent somebody down there to speak to him to give him his antidote come on to give him his cure to let him know what to do so that he could get better hallelujah and he was he was mad about it come on he was upset how many of us get upset when God allows us to go through something because we don't want to humble ourselves just a little bit. Come on. Hallelujah. You see, sometimes 
We're sitting a bit, just a little bit on our high horse. Come on. And God's got to knock us down a few chips, amen. He's got to take that horse down just a little bit because we need to be grounded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to be rooted. Hallelujah. We're, we're, it ain't all about us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, and, um, and honorable. He had a peculiar favor and confidence of his master and was promoted to the highest trust. Hallelujah. Promoted to the trust. He had armies. Come on. Underneath him. Hallelujah. Sometimes some of us get a little bit of authority, get a little bit of position. Ooh. Hallelujah. A little bit of, of fame, a little bit of favor. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden, we're running wild. Hallelujah. Come Our on. head just got that big. Mercy. Hallelujah. Because now we have something. And it's like, God, look at what I got. Look at, look at me. Look at who I am. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. But as guys remember, got to say, remember who you are. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember where you came from. Remember, remember where I brought you out of. You didn't always have that. Hallelujah. But you have it now because of me. Hallelujah. You have that position because of me. Hallelujah. You have that favor because of me and who I am in you. Hallelujah. Yes. And sometimes God's going to let us deal with our situation. Hallelujah. Just because we're getting a little bit out of hand. Hallelujah. Come on. Just because we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Hallelujah. Oh, excuse me. We're all full of myself today. And the Lord's going to say, well, let me just help you with that today. Let me just show you who you really are today. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah! You see, we have to be we have to be taught and remembered who we are. Hallelujah! God ain't always gonna just do what we want Him to do right then and there. Hallelujah! There's a process, and sometimes we not might not just like that process. Sometimes we might not just not like to hear what we have to do to get to where we need to be. Amen. There's steps. Come on. In our life, in our walk. There's things that we, there's steps that we have to take to get closer to the Lord. Come on now. And this is every day. This is not just so that you can be saved. Hallelujah. Because there's not one saved only, always saved. Hallelujah. We have to hang on to our salvation. That's right. Hallelujah. We have to hang on to who we are. Hallelujah. Every day is a process in our life. Come on now. Because every day we encounter different things in our walk. Every day. It's a daily thing. Hallelujah, but it says, but he was a leper. He was heavy taxed upon his grandeur. Hallelujah. He was he was so all up into everything that he had. Come on. Hallelujah. He was afflicted with a disorder that most loathsome and the most humiliating that could possibly disgrace a human being. God often in this course of his providence permits great defects to be associated with great eminence. Come on. So, a lot of times, great people in the Lord have some great disorders in their life. That's right.